well, all my work in my 20s involved sugar. I was completely obsessed and passionate about it. I started off with little cakes, then I made little meringue people, and then I started making life-size babies on meat platters. And then I made adults. Before long, I made an entire life-size family out of cake. It was called an edible family in a mobile home. I lived in a prefab in Stepney at that stage. So I moved out and I covered every single surface inside, furniture, walls, curtains, everything, floor with newsprint. And then I iced on it. It was just beautiful. I know I shouldn't say it myself, but it was like a sort of sugar encrusted bower. And then I made this life-size family out of cake and meringue and the public came and ate them all up. It was an appalling and grotesque view of family life, which was the point. <laughs> anyway, I moved on to other sugar projects, but soon I did this thing. I did the history of modern painting out of sugar. I chose my 18 favorite pieces, and I made these boards covered with canvas. And then very, very meticulously, I copied each painting onto each board. I had this very elaborate process. I had mixed up little pots of sugar every morning, had rows and rows of professional food coloring, and then these tiny spatulas. And I'd mix up each color at a time and dab it on very, very carefully. Or there was this amazing technique called run out, um, which I used for hard edge piping, where you pipe a sort of sugar border, you let it set, and then you flood it with very, very liquid sugar. And it, oh, it dries in this beautiful crystalline surface. It's exquisite. They were exhibited at one stage in the Louvre in Paris. <laughs> they came back all licked. <laughs> oh, French. Never mind. Um, the problem was that every time I'd been working with sugar all the way through this period, every time I touched it, or the spatula touched the sugar. I would lick it so that my teeth were permanently coated in a layer of sugar. I used to think that I was sort of turning into sugar because when you sieve sugar, you get a sort of fine mist all over the place which settles all over everything in your kitchen and it covered the outside. I was like sugar on the outside and sugar on the inside. Reality caught up with me. My teeth started to ache. And after quite a long period, I went to the dentist. He gave me a thorough examination and he told me this terrible news that my teeth were rotten. <laughs> in fact, they were collapsing like a pack of cards. And in a six month period, I had to go to the dentist 17 times, each time for a two or three hour period. It was extremely traumatic and very, very painful. Needless to say, I have not worked with sugar since then. Until now. Sugar, sugar. region of snow and a veritable ice age. <laughs> 